Hello friends, welcome to Costing Tips and Tricks with KSJ Teaching. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that all the tips reach you in time. So, for this lecture, what is our tip? Let's start with tip number one. This is related to inventory levels. This is related to inventory levels. What is that tip, sir? In the inventory levels, whenever we are calculating one particular level, that is average inventory level, average inventory level so many a times there is a confusion sir this average inventory level can be calculated by two ways the first one is maximum level plus minimum level divided by two right and the second method of doing it the second way of uh, calculating the average inventory level is minimum level plus half of reorder quantity right so many of times the student asks me that sir the answer is different by both the methods yes the answer will be different by both the methods because we are using the absolutely different variables so nothing to worry about it in the examination if you are getting the different answers now in the examination do we have to solve it by both the methods it is not compulsory if it is not mentioned in the question if nothing is mentioned, you can solve it by any one method. Why to waste extra time? Because we are already short on time in the examination, right? Solve by either of the methods, depending upon the information that is available to you. That is very important that how the information is available in the question, right? So if we talk about from the examination point of view, you can say solve by any method, solve any one. Now, if in the exam you solve it by both the methods, then sir, you are not going to get any extra marks for that. It is okay if you are going to solve it by both the methods, even then it is okay, but you are not going to get some extra marks for that. Right? So this was the first tip. Now, the coming to the second tip. Tip two. Now, this is related to valuation of purchase price of material valuation of purchase price of raw material now in this case be careful with the gst part gst and other taxes right now you you may have two scenarios in this gst and other taxes itc available and no itc if the ITC is available, then you have to simply ignore that item because what we are taking is we are giving by one hand and taking back by another hand. And if the ITC is not available, then you have to, it will form the part of your cost. Okay. So be careful with whether the ITC is available or whether the ITC is not available. That information might be twisted. For example, the Institute says that the buyer is a dealer under composition or he is buying from a dealer who is under composition in that case whether the itc is available or not so you have to consider it accordingly it is not necessary that ici will directly give you the information that itc is available or itc is not available now second thing if nothing is mentioned in the question absolutely nothing is mentioned then you can take it as itc is available and ignore that item and give a note at the bottom give a note at the bottom that you have considered that the GST paid is uh, for that the ITC is available. So we are considering it accordingly, right? So these were the two tips for this lecture. Stay tuned for more tips and share with all your friends. Thank you so much.